And now to our guest. Michael O'Dowd is a leading pro-life campaigner in Ireland. He is the proud father of a son with Down syndrome, and he has used this platform to campaign for the rights of people with disabilities all along life's continuum. Welcome to Lifelines Radio, Michael. Thank you very much. I'm delighted to be here. Michael, how did you become involved in the pro-life movement in Ireland? Well, my involvement with the pro-life movement in Ireland really began with the birth of my son, Connor, uh, 24 years ago. Mm. So, like any parent, I went and investigated uh, what I would consider the reasons uh, were. And uh, during my research, I found that in the UK, in France, uh, right across Europe, there were less kids being born with Down syndrome. So initially, I thought I had found something new, that there were some environmental reasons for this happening. But then, to my shock and horror, I found that the reason more kids were born in Ireland than any other country were because abortion was available for children with Down syndrome in those other countries. Mm -hmm. So from that moment on, I became firmly pro-life. And I think that some of us thought that abortion would never happen in Ireland. You know, from, from our standpoint over here in the United States, we thought that uh, Ireland was an abortion-free country. There was never any worry about abortion. But then something changed. What changed? Well, we had a very divisive referendum in our country last year. Uh, and frankly, the message, the pro-life message, failed to get out for, for a, a number of reasons, not least the fact that the, the press had become very liberal and, and, uh, and didn't carry our side of the argument at all. So it was very disappointing, uh, the, the result where uh, abortion is now available in our country and in fact it's become quite liberal. Uh, but you know, th you know, we need to fight on from, from this point onwards uh, and our view now is that we need to roll back some of the liberal laws that have been brought in uh, and I think having got over the shock of being defeated, we're now ready for the fight and, and we're up for it. Well, that's very encouraging. Now, to what extent is Down syndrome an issue in the whole right to life debate in Ireland? I think the whole right to life debate uh, revolves around uh, the disabilities is really important and Down syndrome is important. But there are other issues there as well. For instance, the freedom of conscience clause for medical professionals, that there's real problems with the new law that, have, that, are, that has been brought in. Uh, and then there, there, there are other issues uh, in relation to the laws that, that are, for instance, the taxpayer uh, now need, has to fund elective abortions, which those of us who are conscientiously opposed to abortion really are strongly opposed as well. So, so there are other issues. But Down syndrome is, 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 is a big part because Down syndrome uh, can be identified at 10 weeks. We have uh, abortion without any reason whatsoever up to 12 weeks in Ireland. So it will in time lead to the enabling of people with Down syndrome, unborn children, those that are most defenseless because they have a disability, being targeted by multinational com companies. And that's a very dark industry, the, the whole prenatal testing industry, an industry without, in my opinion, any, any morality uh, involved in it. So Down syndrome and indeed sex selection will, will, will be available so people will, be, will know what sex their child is at, at six to eight weeks and they'll be able to abort them. Uh, up to 12 weeks without, without uh, any problems whatsoever. So, so there are huge issues there. The uh, information, I suppose, is just beginning to, to, to feed through to the general population. So that's why education is so important. That's why I'm here talking to you and uh, to other pro-life groups, finding out how you have shifted the middle ground and how you are making huge, uh, huge changes in people's attitudes, particularly among young people. Um, so, you know, it's, it's important that we learn because it's an international fight. The, the fight for life the right of life is an international issue. Uh, definitely. Now, it's been said that people fear what they don't understand. Do you think that there's a lot of misunderstanding surrounding Down syndrome? Specifically in relation to Down syndrome, there's, there's a huge amount of, of misunderstanding. Uh, people always hear the worst possible outcomes that, that, that are available. But you know, if, 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 if any uh, expectant mother was told your, your son or daughter has a good chance of ending up in jail or being a drug addict you know if that's all they heard mm -hmm. uh, you know how many children will be born but uh, the, the reality of having a child with Down syndrome is, is totally different they are a blessing to family to communities to the country uh, and we need to protect cherish encourage challenge them as well uh, but but they have a huge input to make into any society 
And I think that this is going to be a difficult question, but give me some sense what Connor has brought to your life since he was born. Well, Connor has brought uh, so much. Uh, that is a difficult question yes. because every day is, is, is you know, he, he brings something new. Um, he is within a family situation. He's got two other sisters. He's, sorry, he's got two sisters. Uh, he brings, uh, if there's any, any disquiet or, or like any family, there'll be internal difficulties and rows. Connor mm -hmm. will always be the peacemaker. Connor, mm. he's uh, a wizard at uh, any electronic gadgetry. So if we need a TV fix or we need a station tuned in or iPhone, you know, to, to know what what the apps are, Connor is is the go-to person. Mm -hmm. uh, he's he's great at, at disarming uh, uh, people in any situation. Uh, he has been known to to to, to quell uh, difficulties and fights in, in in the school that he goes to. Uh, so so like there's there's so much there, and and, and each day. He gives his love unconditionally, and it, it just is tragic to think that so many families, uh, you know, will be without this this blessing because of their lack of knowledge.